take a detailed look at the Jaguar XJ, hear from a real owner, and find out if you should buy, consider, or skip this car. Here's the download. The Jaguar XJ has been around since the late 60s and has gone through a number of generations. This last generation was introduced in 2009, so it's been around for about 10 years now. Competitors do have newer models, and these include the Mercedes S-Class, the BMW 7 Series, and the Audi A8. So let's take a detailed look at the XJ. Clean lines that start at the front and flow uninterrupted to the back make for an elegant sedan. It embodies the sharply raked roof line of four-door coupes without having to use that label. A beautiful mesh detail grille with the Jaguar Growler dominates the front. Narrow lights with the distinctive double J daytime running lamps give it a sleek look. In the rear, light clusters that wrap downwards continue the fluid styling theme. Even though the construction of the frame is all aluminum, the car still weighs in at a hefty 5,401 pounds. Inside, the styling is truly one of the best in its class. Surfaces are wrapped in two-tone leather trim that is carefully coordinated throughout the car. Plentiful wood trim accents and a wood and leather steering wheel add to the richness. Front seats feature quilted leather with heating, cooling, and massage functions. Rear seat passengers get reclining seats, an additional five inches of legroom with long wheelbase, seat temperature and ventilation controls, and climate controls. The rear window has an electric blind, but side blinds are manual. The instrument cluster is a 12.3 inch digital screen, while infotainment control is through an eight inch touchscreen. Two separate moonroofs provide individual control for passengers. Neat design details include the two sculpted vents with an analog clock in between and the drive selector that raises itself when you start the car. Jaguar offers three supercharged engine choices for the XJ. The entry level is a 3.0 liter V6 producing 340 horsepower and 332 pound-feet of torque. Next is the 5.0 liter V8 with 470 horsepower and 424 pound-feet of torque. The top of the line is the 5.0 liter V8 producing an impressive 550 horsepower and 502 pound-feet of torque, clocking 0 to 60 in 4.2 seconds. Unlike other manufacturers who offer several different customizable drive modes, Jaguar only has dynamic and winter in addition to normal. A Meridian sound system is available as an option. Tech features available include blind spot monitor, reverse traffic detection, adaptive cruise control, adaptive headlights, traffic sign recognition, a 360 degree surround camera, park assist and navigation. From 2019, it will also feature Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Unlike its competitors, Jaguar does not offer any autonomous drive technology. The exterior and interior styling are definitely standouts. And now on to Les's top three likes and dislikes, starting with why he picked this car. Well, I had been an Audi person and I loved Audis, and I had, I think I had four of them, ending up with the big, uh, the big one, the, the A8. And I really liked it, but I was getting kind of bored. You know, after so many cars, they hadn't really updated them much. So I looked around, I drove a Maserati, um, I drove the Jaguar, looked at a few others, um, but this one really won me over. It has to be styling. It's a beautiful, it's an Ian Kellum uh, design, and um, I just think it looks so beautiful going down the road, and I feel great being in it. And so, so the styling, I think, is the first thing that won me over. Well, there's one big thing that annoys the hell out of me about this car, and it's the navigation system. 
it just doesn't work. It's not easy. It takes too long. It's not intuitive, uh, and and it's it's sort of just a pain in the ass. And the, you know they've improved it over time, but it still isn't good. And uh, you know half the time I end up using Google on my phone because it's just too frustrating to use the car system. Second like is really the performance. I mean, the handling is amazing for a big car. You know, it's, it's a luxury sedan, sort of a grand tour, but it's also very fast and uh, very easy to maneuver. Uh, it's incredibly fast. It's the uh, supercharged version and it just flies and I love fast cars. Yeah, I, I love the uh, interior design. I don't like the wood. And, um, you know, if I were going to order the car or pick a, you know, a different car, I would go for the lighter wood. This has the burl, which I've never liked. It's dark and uh, it feels all kind of old. So, you know, that's, that's a, a dislike. It's incredibly comfortable, you know, and sometimes I feel a bit like a fat cat, you know, in a big fat luxury car. But when you're sitting in it, it feels amazingly comfortable, everything works right. I love the massaging and uh, cooled and heated seats. Um, and uh, it's just, uh, you feel safe and you feel uh, comfortable even on long drives. Well, it's, 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 a, it's, it's both a like and a dislike, which is the size. You know, it has advantages being large, uh, but it also has disadvantages. And the, the most obvious one is parking. Uh, you know, I live in the city. It's always a challenge to, to park. And then I'm scraping my rims. And I don't, it seems like they could design rims that weren't so easily scraped. And here are a few highlights from the rest of our chat. Dissatisfaction with the navigation systems is something I hear across all brands. Many people still prefer to navigate with their phones. Remember, we don't pay the drivers on this show for their opinions. Instead, to thank them, we make a donation to a nonprofit charity of their choice. If you'd like to be on this show, please reach out. And now, on to Les's recommendation. Let's find out if he recommends you buy, consider, or skip this car. No, I, I give a big uh, buy recommendation. This is an amazing car. It's well thought out, well designed. It performs well. Really haven't had any problems with it. And I, and I love driving it. So I recommend it to anyone wholeheartedly. And there you have Les's recommendation. We'd love to hear from other XJ owners. Let us know your likes, dislikes, and recommendation in the comments below. Subscribe and see you soon.